Hello once again guys, Muvaka here, and this is Infestation. I'm going to show you guys a nice looting area for food, and that's up here, up in this whole corner up here, because no one really goes up here, and I'm in the trailer park right now, the trailer park is awesome, and so is Crystal Lake Resort. So, you pretty much just go around. Grab whatever you can. Or whatever you want. I don't need another bat. I already have three of those in my backpack right now. I found this large backpack up here too. Uh, in the last game that I played. When I was speed looting. For food. So. Just check around these little houses, you know. And. You pretty much just look for for any source of food and once you're done with that you can just go over to Blue Ridge which isn't too far and you can drop everything off uh... the good thing about this is that no one usually comes up here because nobody cares about anything up here everyone's, are, everyone's always too busy. Look at this medium backpack It's pretty sweet now there's no item boxes as far as I know of but I'm not looking for guns right now because I have enough guns. This is for if you need food or whatever, you just come up here. You have a blast up here. Now, down at Crystal Lake Resort, which I will be showing you guys looting as well, there's lots of guns usually in the church. There's usually a gun or something in the church. And. In all the other houses, I'll show you guys. I'll just cut this video in half and paste paste it together. It's going to be a two-part video. Uh, water, see? I didn't bring any guns with me because I, I don't think I'll need any. And there's water over there. Let me just check inside this car. I usually has stuff. There's an arrow. My friend will probably trade me something for that. I have like a whole stack of arrows for him. He likes the crossbow. Uh, sometimes in these RVs you'll find a Mossberg or something like that, or a Sawed-Off. Now before I go in the house, I like to check around the perimeter here, because there is stuff that spawns around here, usually. This is right here where I found the large backpack. Some water. This house usually doesn't have much in it. Take that. More water. And now I am going to be going over here. See if there's anything over there. It's a can of soda. I like eating the cans of soda too because it fills in hunger and thirst. Nope, never mind. That wasn't a can of soda. That was, uh, fence. But right down there is the resort and I will see you then. Alright, so now that we're up here we went over to Candler's Cabin. Always go there. There's usually a gun there. Um, we're going to hit this place up and we're going to go over there to the actual resort part. Careful though because zombies like to hide in the grass. There's quite a few of them. You can play it stealth. I usually try to play it stealth, but then I fail at it and zombies start attacking me from all, all which ways. Uh, like this guy. What are you doing? Uh, come on. Money. 40 bucks? Alright. Cabin will usually spawn a gun there, or one right on the outside here. Usually right there. It looks like a juice box or something. Oh, can of soda. Same colors. This this place right here doesn't always have a gun or anything, but it it usually will. It's a spiked bat. I'm probably gonna pick that up. She dropped an AK-47 mag. 
right here will spawn brass knuckles as well. So always check for those. Alright, then you just check this little place. Don't see anything except for some soup. And now, since I don't want to aggro too many zombies, I'm going to go on the outskirts here. You stop right there, office man. Alright. So you just proceed to walk down here, and then there's that little fence break there. With a couple of zombies standing in front of it. You can slip through the church right there. And all those buildings right there, those will usually have something in them. Pretty much all the time. They'll usually have a gun or a melee weapon that's pretty good. That's where I usually find katanas and like stuff like a Kruger. Is usually in places like that. And those buildings over there, there's also a restaurant. You can go over there and loot those places. I will show you that stuff, too. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to try and get past these zombies. And no one ever... Keep in mind, no one ever comes up here for some reason. I don't know why they don't do it. It's, it's pretty close to Blue Ridge. It doesn't take that long to get out here. It's really fun to loot because there's always stuff here. <coughs> like I already found two backpacks up just at the trailer park alone. And then there's the grocery mart and the farm and not the pharmacy, the uh, post office. <coughs> All right, let's see what we got in here. Usually there'll be stuff spawned there and back here. Oh, there's only a bat in here. That usually never happens. But oh well. Like I said, stuff doesn't always spawn, but when it does, it's pretty sweet. Water, chocolate, soda. This stuff is this this place is really good for getting getting stuff. Like foods. Try not to sprint all the time. Do what I'm doing, like spread out your sprints, because you don't need to use them all. And if you do, you're just going to make the zombies mad if you're too close. And all this stuff I'm going to be putting in my vault. In my, yeah, in my vault, my global inventory. And I'm going to be spreading it around throughout my five or s five characters, I think. Sorry about that, my mouse doesn't work all the time. Which usually gets me killed, which is why I gotta get a new one soon, see? There's so lots of bats after this new update. Lots and lots of bats. Ooh, a metal bat. That's better. Okay, nothing's coming for me. Just breathing hard. Don't even bother with the canoe paddles. I'll use one of those that are in my global inventory. I'll just use one of those. Because I have a few. I'll just use one of those for if I start a new character. That's what I usually use that for. That's the only thing that I give myself when I start a new character is one canoe paddle usually. More water. I, I'll show you guys how much water I got at the end of this. Actually, as of right now, as of right now, I have eight waters just from coming up here. And a lot of bats. Which I don't need, so I'm going to start dropping. Don't need the chips. Just going to replace it with soda. Organize it a little bit. Still have... I still have a ton of weight. Like, if I were to find a couple guns, that would be awesome. I 
Thought I aggroed a, a zombie, but I guess not. I can raid this whole place here and still have a ton of room. I'm getting the chips from my friend because for some reason he wants me to get him a ton of chips. Hey there, buddy. I mean, look how much water is. Some ammo. I'm probably just gonna get rid of the ammo because I don't use shotguns too much. And what's sweet is when you're, by the time you're done doing this, you can go back up to the trailer park, loot there again. And then once you're done doing that, you can just come down here and loot even more. So this place is really good for military rocks and stuff if you have one of those. Die. Also, the new system of them trying to avoid you is actually pretty good to your advantage because it gives you more time to react because they're kind of like running to the side and a little bit away from you before they actually turn towards you. Which is pretty nice. Almost done writing here, and I will shut you guys off. But before that, I will show you how much stuff I got by the time I'm done. I know the hatchet used to be really good. What happened to it? I used to get like two to three hits off of them. It takes like three or four. Mouse just got shot a little bit. And that's why I gotta get a new mouse. I'll probably just get one off eBay for a couple bucks. And also stay tuned because I'm I have a new headset coming in the mail, which I will be doing a vlog slash review about. So stay tuned for that. And before I hit those other two houses, I'm going to hit this place up. A lot of mini saints. Come on, zombie. I don't really want the ham or the tuna, but I'll just take them anyways. Probably just give them to one of my friends. Nothing usually ever on the docks that I've found. Usually ever. Unfortunately, there should they should put like a looting box there. Or something. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, a Saiga. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I already have four, like, four Saigas now. Other three have no ammo. <laughs> Don't want a flashlight. Alright guys, so that is how you're supposed to be looting for food the correct way. And thank you guys for watching, and please like, like, comment, favorite, subscribe, do what you do. I love you guys, you guys are making me and my channel grow really fast, so I want to thank you for that. 
and I will see you later. Peace out. Bye.